This video will discuss the setup for the photosynthesis laboratory, specifically focusing on getting your leaf discs to sink into the solution prior to the beginning of the experiment. Okay, today we're going to discuss how to get those leaf discs to sink uh, prior to doing your photosynthesis laboratory. So what I've already done here is I've already gone and cut several uh, leaf discs using my um, hole puncher and uh, these leaves of basil here. Uh, they're actually quite fresh and they smell lovely. Too bad we don't have smell-o-vision. But once you've cut your discs, uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to carefully insert them into the barrel of a uh, syringe. All I've done is I've pulled the barrel out. It's pretty, pretty simple. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pick up these little discs one by one and put them into your uh, barrel here. Okay. Once you have them in, you're going to just gently kind of tap them to the bottom. Okay. So they're all at the bottom now. Then what you're going to do is go ahead and insert the plunger, okay? And you're going to squeeze out as much air as you can, being careful not to smash your uh, discs. So we're going to squeeze out as much air as we can, not smashing our discs. Then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, draw up your liquid. Now in this experiment, there are two different liquids. There is liquid with sodium bicarbonate, which is a source of carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, and then there's just plain water. For this demonstration, all I have here is just water. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put the uh, tip of the syringe into the liquid, and you're going to pull up some uh, liquid, and then if you simply tap on the edge of your uh, syringe, you're going to notice that every single one of these, and I don't know how well you can see this, but every single one of these discs is fluid. That's not so good because in the experiment we really need them to sink. So what we're going to do then is we're going to apply a vacuum. So if you hold your thumb over the barrel like so, and then you pull back, you will engage a vacuum. And you're going to hold this for about 10 seconds. And when you let go, the syringe is going to um, pop back. Okay? All right. And then you're going to uh, go ahead and take the syringe and uh, remove the air. Okay? We didn't get any to sink yet. So we're going to uh, go ahead and try this again. Okay? While you have your uh, vacuum engaged, go ahead and swish around the uh, leaf discs. Okay, we're going to leave that for about 10 seconds. All right, and then when we're done, ah, see, they're starting to uh, sink now. In fact, all of them have pretty much sunk to the bottom, which is great. Let's go ahead and repeat the process one more time. Okay just to ensure we've got a nice, 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 nice vacuum. One more time, swishing around our leaf discs, letting go, tap, 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 and all of them are now at the bottom. Okay, so we've successfully sunk our leaf discs. When you're done, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, just empty it out into your test beaker, Okay, and your leaf discs are going to settle to the bottom. Okay, this is a little harder to see here. If you do have one or two that decide, oh, that they just don't want to sink, go ahead and pick them out. Okay, that's entirely okay, uh, but as long as the more majority of them have sunk to the bottom. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now you're ready to uh, test and measure photosynthetic rate.